The hi-hats are by far the most versatile instrument on the drum set, and you want to make sure that you're always taking advantage fully of that sound palette available to you. Today we are going to check out a number of distinct sounds that we can get from this one pair of hi-hats. Hey everybody, welcome to the Non-Glamorous Drummer. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button below. Let's jump down to the kit. So today's topic is honestly pretty simple. We're just gonna go through a bunch of playing examples of me hitting the hi-hat in different spots, getting different sounds. And I know that there is technically an infinite number of degrees of looseness versus tightness with the hats. So we're not gonna get ridiculous with that. There's gonna be a couple different degrees I'll show you. But more importantly, we're talking about uh, what are the main, very different types of sounds we can get, which has a lot to do with how we're hitting them, where we're hitting them. There's so many different angles and spots you can hit the hi-hats. So this is just to hopefully inspire some creativity because this works for any pair of hi-hats. It doesn't matter whether you like or don't like my K-Custom Dark 14-inch hats I got here. I could pull out my new beats and do the same kind of thing. The sounds would be a little bit different, but the differences would be similar. So you can do this with your hats, so feel free to experiment and try some of these ideas. And there are definitely going to be some sounds that I don't cover here. And so if I don't hit a sound, um, well, that's why, because we really could get infinite. We could get really crazy with this. The, uh, the issue is that most of the time, we as drummers are not precise enough to actually pay a lot of attention to the different zones that we have on our cymbals. And with hi-hats, there's a bell. A lot of times we don't think too much about hitting the bell. Uh, but as far as the top of it goes, there are even different ways we can hit the top of the cymbal. We tend to think in terms of edge, surface, like main surface, bow, I guess, the bow of the cymbal, edge, bow, and bell, and there are different zones of the bell. So within those three zones, we can do different angles, different parts of the stick, and then on top of that, the different varying degrees of tightness and looseness, which makes it infinite. So we'll break a few of these down. Also, I'm just gonna be using this one pair of sticks throughout the example, because um, we could also get even more exponentially infinite with this if we're pulling in different sticks and different utensils and stuff for hitting. But just with one pair of sticks, there are all these different zones on the stick that we can hit the cymbal with. Most commonly, I think it's probably the shoulder on the edge, but we can also slide down more to the neck of the stick on the edge, or all the way up to the shaft of the stick on the edge. On top of that, we can hit the top of the cymbal with the tip or with the shoulder. And as far as the bell, we can do the same kind of thing with the bell. We can hit with the tip, neck, shoulder, shaft. So we've got all these different zones, all these different sounds we can get. So I'm just gonna start playing and literally the rest of the video is gonna be me playing. We're gonna number each of these and maybe I'll come up with names for these. Um, we'll see how many different sounds we get.
there's kind of a sweet spot where it's like it resonates a little bit. There's a ring to it. If you're like me, you're always open to new ideas and you always want to hear new things and be inspired. So I hope that that maybe did that for you and you're able to go create some uh, other variations of that and some of your own sounds because the possibilities are endless when you pull out different sticks and different utensils and you put tape on them and you do other weird stuff and put a sizzler on it. So have fun. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you some good info. If you have yet to become a fellow non-glamorous subscriber, be sure to do that and share the video before you go. Thanks guys and I'll see you on the next video.